make your keyboard look like this super cool and you can change the colors so in this video we're gonna do a fix for that stick around First of all, what you want to do is head over to the ASUS website and as you can see here, the model number I have is the ROG Strix GL503. Uh, so once you have the model number selected, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to the drop down. This is the exact model number I have, the 503VD. Next uh, you'll have a drop down for the operating system, of course it's Windows 10 64 bit you'll see a complete list of all the drivers and when they were last updated and whatnot you'll have this here the wireless chipset all that once you have all these drivers which you most likely do if you have an asus laptop uh, if you haven't go ahead and uh, download all the drivers the most important one here of course would be your software and utility and this is the most important to get the um, rgb keyboard up and running or properly is because it has the ROG Gaming Center and this app, the Gaming Center, is what's going to allow you to control the RGB once it's downloaded correctly. So make sure you have this, all the software along with the software and utility. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to download that. So once you have that installed, you can verify that. As you go to Control Panel, under Programs, if you hit Uninstall Program, You'll notice right here, Raw Gaming Center. So you will notice that uh, people have tried installing the drivers via a zip file. So you'll notice I have a zip file here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the drivers. So next, next, close. And if I exit out of this window here, so you'll notice I have the ROG Aura Core. So this is a shortcut on the desktop. This will show me the different um, customization options that I have. But whatever I'm doing here in the control panel on the laptop should reflect on the keyboard, but it is not. The keyboard will just remain stuck on, say, the first one. So if your first option was this, the red solid color, you will not be able to do the color cycle, the rainbow loop, or the customize three over here so that's that is the issue where um, people are having troubles customizing the RGB keyboard on their uh, Asus laptops I'm gonna close out of that I also have a shortcut key a physical key on my laptop that's with this the raw gaming uh, center app so if I go here now some people um, say that when you use this method you will not see the aura core customization tab here and some people are are, are uh, getting this tab but regardless so this is our like interface and you can you know customize whatever you want you can free up memory all that fun stuff now even if you hit the rog aura core through the gaming center app like i did and you try to customize this because people say if you open it through the app it'll work but if you open it via the shortcut that we have on the desktop it will not Either way, if you have the drivers installed via the unzip method and you install it that way and it's installed into your program. So if I go control panel, if I go uninstall a, pro oh, if I go uninstall a program and over here, you'll notice the ROG Aura Core. If it shows up here, it's not going to work right with that method. So as I'm doing this, I'm not getting any results on my physical keyboard as I did in the zip file, then you're gonna notice that the my four zone keyboard is not gonna work. So it's all lit red. And if I go to customize here, so as I'm hitting the customize two or the customize three option. So my customization, so this has a four zone, it's a four color, but my keyboard does not represent that. Same if I go to a solid color, as you see here, it has a, <clears throat> a certain kind of effect. Over here, same thing, my keyboard still remains red. And the customized one is basically just a single solid color that you can edit over here. So you can choose which color you want and then whatever, depending on that color, your <clears throat> keyboard is going to uh, display that color that's on the screen. So this method, I when I tried this, obviously it didn't work and I reinstalled Windows and I did all that, but nothing seemed to uh, uh, work. So I'm gonna go ahead and uninstall that. So I'll go back to control panel, uninstall a program I'll go aura core uninstall yes but of course you do not want to remove your gaming center because that's the app that 
uh, this whole process is going to rely on. Now if I go to the Microsoft Store and I hit the search tab and I type in ROG, my specific model, it's going to require the Aura Core, not the Aura, the Aura Core app. So I'm going to click the Core app, I'm going to hit install and it's asking, it'll ask you to sign in but even if you don't have an account, the uh, driver should still download. I'm going to close that. So we hit the uh, red X. It'll say pending and now you'll notice that it's starting to download uh, 26 megs. And now it says ju it, that it just got installed. So if I go here and I hit launch, there we are. Now once this is launched through the Microsoft Store, now my keyboard is actually working. I'm going to hit the shortcut key here. So this is the ROG uh, Gaming Center. So I have the Gaming Center open. I do have the shortcut key, which is pretty cool. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you're going to notice that there is a third tab here and it's the ROG Aura Core. We're going to hit that. That's going to launch the exact same window as we did previously. Only in this case, now the keyboard should, the um, RGB, the four zones should work. So it should reflect or mirror exactly what we're doing here. So customize one, I have the red keyboard, keyboard's red, that's cool. Customize two, now this is where it says that it's a um, color cycle. So it should be cycling through different colors. Now if I look down at my keyboard here, this is the color cycle. So the keyboard is working. The RGBs are working, so that's pretty cool. And um, if I go to customize three here, what I usually do is <clears throat> I'll keep it as uh, the four zone. So let's just go to, where is it? So if I go to all keys, if I go to multi zone over here. Okay, that's, uh, here we are. So multi zone <clears throat> has these four, and then you can see here, so, these four colors here should be a mirror or a reflection of the keyboard and the keyboard as you can see starts off with those colors as it is on the screen in the Aura Core app that we downloaded through the Microsoft Store. Um, now another way to tell that it's actually working is if I hit apply <clears throat> as I do here it's, it's gonna take a second and you're gonna see a wheel that's loading and that's gonna indicate that this is working for sure. And then if I close this, you'll notice, of course, the keyboard still remains the same and all of the lights work. So that is the solution and that is a fix on how you would um, resolve this issue. And this brings us to the end of this video. That's how you would solve the issue of the keyboard RGB not working properly. If you guys found this at all helpful or useful, don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe for more content. And until next time, everybody be safe, be well, and we'll catch you later. Peace.